Start your season with recommended settings. If you wish to change roles or adjust options, use the tiles on the left. Start your week by installing your game plan. Select the team you want to join. Start your season with recommended settings. If you wish to change roles or adjust options, use the tiles on the left. This is the player card. Here you can see your player's strengths. Select the team you want to join. Start your season with recommended settings. If you wish to change roles or adjust options, use the tiles on the left. Start your week by installing your game plan. Start the regular season by selecting your season goal. Today, from Mercy. They'll try and start this drive in the air. And his first look is incomplete. The linebacker, Bobby Wagner, able to get back in coverage and knock it free. But CD, you take a look at this draft class from this offense, and they went defense with their first round pick. Yeah, and you and I both know. He's got it in, complete. Able to rip off a big chunk of yardage before being dropped inside the 40. That one good for 37 yards. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. And he's going to keep it here. Falcons have taken the early lead. That 
touchdown, Charles, the first rushing TD of his rookie year. I don't know that he's going to be Lamar Jackson or Russell Wilson or Josh Allen at this stage. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw. Airing it out, looking for Ridley. That's going to be knocked away and incomplete. I like the thought process there. They connected on a big play, and sometimes you find the defense vulnerable. So they went for the bigger shot, went for it all on that one. This time, they were ready for it. Breaks the tackle. He's got room to run. The big fella. Pass the 20. Touchdown. The Falcons. Hayden Hurst. An 80-yard touchdown. And the Falcons are able to show off their quick strike ability. For as big and strong as some of these guys are, especially when you see them in full pads, it is sometimes hard to appreciate how truly fast they can move. That was incredible. And we do talk a lot about how the tight end position has changed in the NFL. Here's a great example. It used to be that they were linemen who occasionally caught passes. Now the wide receivers who occasionally block people. And right here... throwing here on first down and he'll be hit as he releases it and that'll fall incomplete intended target on that one Russell Gage that'll bring up second down now he dumps this off over the middle and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 11 yards there first down well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. The safety, Jamal Adams, able to break that one up. They'll try again from the 36 on second and 10. On the move to his left. And now he's going to use his legs. Give him seven there on the tuck and run, and they're in better shape now for third. Taken down at the 43 yard line. Through one corner, 14 7, our score. With the score, Falcons 14, Seahawks 7. Edo Smith, his first carry, and he brings this up to the 46. Good enough for the first. A third down gain of three yards, and that'll be enough. A couple of first downs to kick off the drive. Here's first and ten up at the 46. Steps away to his left. Throw it across his body, and it's intercepted. Trey Flowers picks it, and the return stops at the 39-yard line. That's not one that he's going to want to remember, but he had to get it out of the way at some point, his first career interception. And if he's the guy that they think he is, he's not laughing it off, but he's all... ...it affect him as the game... Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And his pass incomplete. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. And he's going to get seven out of this before being taken down at the 27. They get seven out of that, so they're left with a third and three. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. He may try and run for this. And he takes it down to the 10 yard line. These type of plays are backbreakers for our defense. They thought they had him hemmed in, thought they were going to get him on the ground with the pass rush, but were unable to do so. He gets away, picks up a big first down, and sets up first and goal. And down he goes. Pressure gets him back at the 14. A CD, you know, so often we talk about quarterbacks holding on to the ball too long. Well, we can't say that there. He had no time to do much of anything. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Well, the number one mission of any offensive line, you got to protect that quarterback, keep him safe back there. But this time, the rush got to him in a hurry. Just what Seattle was hoping for. The coverage holds, and now fourth. They'll 
come out throwing here to start the drive. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And nearly picked off. Surprising to see a defender of his caliber let it get away. But it does get away and it's second down. No, oh, he almost had it. Already with one interception, just missing his second there. Now that's a dangerous throw right there. Moving off to his right, throwing it all the way back across field to his left. I know he had a lot of confidence in his arm. But sometimes the ball can just hang up there when it goes that distance. And this will be caught at the 30. Touchdown, Falcons. Julio Jones, 75 yards. And the Falcons will add on to their lead. It's fair to say there's nothing that gets a crowd to its feet quite like a big play, and that was something special there. Boy, was he moving. Well, in this league where coordinators worry so much about drawing up the right routes, blocking assignments, misdirections and stuff, they have these precise arrows and movements. Sometimes the best plays just come from the schoolyard. one is down he goes. Carlos Dunlap able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Sacks a growing theme in this first half. This is second and long. They'll roll him out right. On the run. He'll let this go deep right side. It's caught inside the 25. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown Atlanta. Julio Jones. Already his second touchdown here opening weekend and the Falcons push further out in front he put quite a bit of air underneath that touchdown pass of course we knew that he had the strong arm that part was he now on first down he'll drop to throw it on the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And this will be caught at the 30. And he's got some breathing room. And he will finally go out of bounds, but not before he takes it down to the 25. his intended receiver but it'll be second down out to his left he'll run it and down inside the 15 shy of the 10 opted to run for it the decision a good one picking up the first getting 14 yards on the scramble some early fireworks from this rookie quarterback getting the start in week one and every time a rookie quarterback gets to start week one you and I both know the extra attention that comes with it. We know and it's a fumble. And the Seahawks have picked it up. You think about it, Charles. This is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot. In that time, he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive. First down, he'll drop to throw. He's going to take off with it. He's got a first down and inside the midfield. And finally taken down at the 44-yard line. Able to find a lot of empty space there. Picking up the first down at a 21-yard gain. He'll drop to throw. Escaping the pressure right. Caught on the right side by Jones. Give him nine there on the first down completion. 
catch there by Julio Jones. And let's face it, we're almost running out of ways to say he's great. So let's put it into this context. Third among active... players in receiving yards starting 2020 just 852 yards behind tight end Jason Witten on second down it's Smith and they'll be inside the 35 now at the 34 yard line a gain of just a yard but it's a first down the way things have gone in this one, the running game's been something of an afterthought, and that's not been too bad for them, has it? Yeah, the offensive returns have been good, but I guess we figured he and the ground game would be a bit more involved. And incomplete on the deep ball. Julio Jones once again the intended target, and that'll bring up second down. Steps away. Now he'll pull it down. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Containing him is becoming a big problem. We've already seen this once earlier on this drive. Yeah, and so now two times this has happened. Do you adjust something? Yeah, I think you do. I think you have some good to change. Try not to either get too wide or too narrow. Make sure someone is there waiting for him to take off. Give him nine on the scramble there, and it'll leave him with a second in just a couple of inches. We are through three quarters here on NFL Kickoff Weekend. So they've been in the red zone three times, and it's yielded just three points. Can they find the... And he's going to go down. This will count as a sack, a very short sack, taken down at the two. One thing that I liked about this guy during the draft process was his motor. Of course, I loved his skills, but he plays hard on every down. And that motor on full display there as he gets his first NFL sack. That's incomplete, but there is a flag down. So hang on, a big call coming on third down. No! So a decision to make there, they decline the penalty as they'd rather force the fourth down. And I guess not content to get another three here late. They'll try to add six more as they go on fourth and goal. And he can't find a receiver, and he's brought down. Bobby Wagner. They'll look to throw here on first down. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. That's caught inside the 20. And all the way down to the 9. A big time play there for the Falcons. 66 yards. Well, that didn't take long. One play, and we're already looking at a first and goal situation. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Carlos Dunlap able to disrupt yet another pass play. That is his third sack of the afternoon. After the sack, oh, they're staring at a challenge basically from the other side of town. It's second and a country mile. His throw incomplete. The safety, Jamal Adams, able to break that one up. A lot of tired bodies on that field, but this is a big play. Third and goal. Buying time to his left. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And he's going to be out down inside the 20 at the 15. Able to find a seam. No. That one looks like he'll throw here. Eluding the pressure right. Oh, he's going to let this go for the end zone. And this one is incomplete. The intended target was Calvin Ridley. And now it's second down. Flushed out right. On the run. He'll let this go deep right. And this is caught. Now the Seahawks going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with just under 50 seconds remaining in the fourth. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. And he'll take it into the end zone. Touchdown, Atlanta. It's their quarterback. Second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Falcons will extend their lead. This game's... The defense.
Lions can stop it twice more as they take a knee here. 14 yard line, second and 11. Now back to throw. Being chased out, and he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Blowing that play up was Henry Anderson. The chance of wasting this great starting field position, a real threat. This is third and long. So time runs out. It's a victory for the Atlanta Falcons. And partner... Start your week by installing your game plan. This is the player card. This is your development trait. Superstar. Today, from A. They'll look to throw now on first down. Oh, he's going to air it out right away. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked up by Demonte Casey. Shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. Almost able to intercept it. That's one he would have liked to have held on to on this first drive. Instead, second down. But Charles, we get a look there at the draft class for this offense. What do you make of it? Overall, I like the balance of the guys that they selected because, to me, they got a few guys that can step in and play right away, which is exactly what you want. But they also drafted for the future as well. They got some guys who might need a year or two on the practice squad, so then we'll find out if they can actually play. Rolling to his left. Now he'll let it go on the run. Deep left side. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it.